I'm looking at the latest odds for Super Bowl champs. Tampa Bay Buccaneers according to FanDuel. Again, you can get your bets in at fanduel.com slash clay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers 5-1. to one. Bills 5.5-1. to one. Cardinals 8.5-1. to one. Rams just shy of 10-1. to one. And then you've got the Ravens at 10 to 1, the Chiefs at 11 to 1, Packers 11 to 1, Cowboys 12 to 1, America's team, the Tennessee Titans at 18 to 1. All right, I want to go to the Chiefs. 11 to 1 for the Chiefs, sitting at 3 and 4, where they would likely be a substantial underdog, at least they should be if you look at their schedule coming up. Their next four, they should beat the Giants, and they got three really tough games. I think the chances of them winning their division are actually pretty low. It's like people won't quit on the Chiefs. Are they still overvalued at 11 to 1? I would bet them at 11 to 1 as far as the Lombardi Trophy is concerned. I think when you look at this team, clearly there are a lot bigger issues that they need to fix. Whether it's the offense pressing in the wake of some of their defensive shortcomings, the offensive line that hasn't come together nearly as quickly as a lot of Chiefs fans and within the organization believed it could with so many fresh faces. I don't think it's as simple as waving the magic wand and suddenly Kansas City goes from being a 3-4 and four football team to hanging 40 on the board week in, week out. You begin to look at their schedule, not only going forward, but who they've played already. I mean, where's the marquee victory anywhere that Kansas City has been able to accomplish? I guess it's the Browns week one, a game they were fortunate to win. You take care of business on the road against they believe your Washington football team. You do so against Philadelphia. I mean, those aren't the kind of wins that you expect from a Super Bowl contender. But the one thing, and we talk about it all the time when it comes to the future book, there's no incentive for books to really rapidly drop Kansas City down. Because if they were to go to, say, 20, 25, maybe even 30 to 1, the liability going to a Patrick Mahomes-led team with Andy Reid on the sidelines would get ratcheted up pretty quickly. So rather than completely discarding them, you're going to see them inch down gradually. But you bring up an excellent point talking about how much more difficult the road is to getting to Los Angeles to play in the Super Bowl for the third straight year when you're not the division champion. You have to go out on the road to potentially the likes of Western New York and take on the Bills. We'll see who emerges atop the heap in the AFC North. Uh, I think the Chiefs have a lot of work out in front of them. And I'd probably be more inclined to bet them to miss the playoffs than I would be to take the 11-1 if they win the Lombardi Trophy. 